Hey guys, it's Carson Miller Tech here back with another video and I'm coming to you today from a very deceiving spring day. It looks beautiful. It looks like it's a great day, but it's actually 34 degrees right now and it's snowing. So yeah, there's that. But in this video, I'm going to be answering the question of does the Mavic Mini require an internet connection on your device when you're using it? And so you could be either using a phone, you could be using a tablet, maybe even like an iPod or something like that. So in this video, I'm gonna be answering that question as well as how GPS is affected through your device. So I'm gonna be checking out both of those and also at the end, I'm gonna be throwing in a cool thing that you can do with the Mavic Mini that you may not already know. So if you already know the answer to the internet and GPS questions, at least stick to the end for that. But with that being said, let's just get straight into the testing. So to start off these tests, I'm gonna set a baseline by starting off with just a regular flight where I have a iPhone 11 Pro Max, which is connected to cellular and it's also connected to my home Wi-Fi right now and nothing is modified. This is just like a regular flight. So I'm gonna go and turn everything on and then I haven't opened the DJI Fly app yet so I'm just gonna open it as usual and it will be able to locate where I am right now and then I can just click on connect aircraft, camera view and you will see take off with caution. So it has to go through and find GPS satellites quickly before going and actually taking off. And then once it discovers all the satellites, it will go and show that takeoff is permitted. So that usually doesn't take too long, but once that's done, you can just get to taking off. You know, this is just like your regular flight. You can go fly around, do everything you want. And of course, one of the most important things I would have to say with DJI drones, if you ever go and need to return to home instantly. So I'm gonna return to home now. It will auto return to home. And it is able to do this because of GPS, but I'm not totally sure if it's doing it because of my phone GPS or if it is doing it because of the drone GPS. So I'm checking that now. All right, so it is clearly returning to home. It is coming down now and it's about to land. So I'm just gonna cancel that because it appears that it's gonna land about right where it took off from. So that's great. But now I'm gonna land and I'm gonna test how this affects the flight when you go and turn off Wi-Fi. So like I mentioned already, I am connected to my home Wi-Fi, but I'm gonna go and turn that off. And as you can see, it is not connected to any Wi-Fi now. And it is just connected to LTE. So this won't really do much difference, but I'm gonna make sure that I close out the DJI Fly app. I'm gonna start it back up, go fly, and there we go. So it's takeoff permitted once again. Now, because this is still connected to the internet, which is different than just Wi-Fi, I don't think that it will affect the RTH at all, but I suppose I'll give it a shot just to make sure. But the location accuracy right now is not being determined by my Wi-Fi connection to my house. So that's not something that you'd typically have to worry about, but I'll fly away, like I said. Anyways, so I've flown out now, turn to home. It is definitely fighting wind right now, which I do want to make a how well the Mavic Mini does in wind video. So if you're looking forward to a video like that, make sure to hit subscribe because a video like that will be coming out very soon, as soon as a really windy day comes along. But that aside, it is returning to home again and it's hovering over like 200 feet up right now. So I'm just gonna cancel that. It'll obviously come right back down to where it was. This next time I'm gonna go and shut off cellular connection. So that means I'm not gonna have any connection to internet whatsoever. So this is a scenario similar to if you had maybe a tablet that doesn't have a cell connection on it. So I'm gonna go and perform that scenario just by simply turning off cellular data on my phone. But I'm not gonna do that until I have landed, so let's land, and landed. Like I said, I'm gonna shut off cellular, and the way I'm gonna do that is just swipe down again, turn that off, and just to prove entirely that cellular is turned off, I'm gonna go into settings, go to cellular, and as you can see there, it is turned off. Cellular data is off, and even more, just to make sure that the DJI Fly app is not getting any internet whatsoever, I'm gonna turn off cellular for the DJI Fly app. And now once I've done that, I'm gonna close the DJI Fly app once again, go and click on the DJI Fly. It is locating and takeoff is permitted, but just to make sure 
that it isn't taking this data in from before when I was still connected to the internet. I'm gonna go and power cycle the remote controller and the drone and do this all over again. There we go. And now I'm gonna go open the DJI Fly app again. It is locating. So this is gonna be interesting to see if it can locate without knowing my IP address. Um, it is in a recommended zone, so it can do that because of GPS. It won't give a specific location like it did before, which it did that because of my home internet, the specific location of where I was. It can also do that over cellular as well. But I'm here, again, takeoff permitted, so it appears that it has connected to GPS satellite. So that is not reliant on your phone itself because the drone actually has GPS built into it. So because that is built into the drone itself, you generally don't have to worry about this, but still that was something that I wanted to make sure of. But now that I'm connected, the Mavic Mini does go and get its signal through 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi, but that is Wi-Fi between the drone itself and the controller. So you don't have to worry when you have your phone Wi-Fi turned off, that doesn't affect the Wi-Fi of the drone itself. Again, I'm gonna go and fly away just to see how it does with the GPS positioning of the return to home. I don't know why, but I've just kind of always thought that the phone has some effect on the GPS, even though I know that it is built into the drone itself with GPS and GLONASS, but it's still, it's, it's interesting to see this now where it is able to have so many GPS connections just with the drone itself. So that is not affected by your phone. We'll see on this one, see how accurate the location is. So as far as this accuracy is going, I mean, you saw where I took off from last time, right? The drone is currently right there, as you can see. That is not in the same location of where I had taken off before, so that is different, but I mean, it did come back in the general location, so that's good. So now, finally, as I promised, I'm going to give you one final cool thing that you can do with the Mavic Mini that you may not have already known that you can do. So this final test is just to ultimately disconnect the phone entirely. So I'm just gonna go and unplug it, and you'll see on my screen, RC not connected to mobile device, and that's because obviously I just unplugged it like that. Now, with the drone, you can fly, a lot of people don't know this, but you can actually fly the Mavic Mini with just the remote controller. You don't need your device connected. Obviously, there's the issue of not being able to see what your drone is seeing through the camera on the app, but you still can go and press record video and photos. So to do that, you just take off as usual. And also, actually it may not be usual for everybody. So just to show you to take off without having the phone, if you are typically reliant on using the takeoff function, all you gotta do is you press the two joysticks here to the center like so. Or if you don't wanna do that, you can press them to the outside and that also starts the drone propellers. So this doesn't get it to go take off, but to take off, you just press up on your left joystick, as long as you are in mode two for the controller. So once that's done, you can take off, and I'm gonna start recording, and when you press the record button, you should hear that noise, and that is to show that it is recording. So, obviously, I don't know where the gimbal is aimed at right now, but I am moving it all the way down, so maybe it's showing me right now, we'll see. Go up a little bit. You can press the button again to stop recording. There you go. And then you can also take photos by pressing the typical photo button. Obviously this isn't ideal, but if you don't, in my case, wanna take off your phone case, or your phone just died and you need to get a photo, or it's just a simple photo out like so. Maybe you want it out like this. Aim the gimbal down at yourself, take a photo, boom, boom. And like that, you have your photo and of course video as well, which is pretty awesome. And this isn't something that you're gonna wanna use all the time because the inconvenience of not being able to have all the other controls on your phone there. But it is still awesome to know that if your phone ever comes disconnected and you have no connection to GPS, internet, Wi-Fi, any of that, and you just have your controller, then you are all set to being able to get record from your drone and fly it around and not having to worry about it not being able to take in your controls. So this also works with the return to home. And as you will see in a second, it lowers itself down and it will come to a landing point. If it comes to a point like this, 
right there where it's about 10 feet off the ground and it doesn't land, then that means that it doesn't have sufficient area to be able to land. Just to land, like usual, pull down on the left joystick and you don't have to worry because it will land and you don't have to worry about having your phone or anything like that. So to wrap this all up and answer the question at the beginning of the video of whether or not you can fly the Mavic Mini without an internet connection, the answer to that is yes. You can fly the Mavic Mini without an internet connection, but a lot of people don't use that and they just use their phone like usual because that way you don't have to worry about adapters and stuff like that. So if you were using a tablet, you don't have to worry about having a SIM card for internet connection in it or anything like that. However, the situations where you will need internet is if you need to unlock a fly zone. So you can't just do that without any internet connection. You have to go within the Mavic Mini app to be able to unlock fly zones where you're typically not able to fly in. Obviously, you need to get permission to fly in places to unlock those airspaces. But if you are unlocking the airspaces, you need an internet connection. So that is the one circumstance where you need to make sure that you have an internet connection. But otherwise, you do not need an internet connection to fly the Mavic Mini. But with all that being said, that is pretty much it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to let me know by clicking the thumbs up button down below, as well as hitting the share button to share to your friends and commenting down below what your favorite part was. Also, subscribe for future videos, and if you want to see my last video, that should be up there, and some random video should be down there. But with all that being said, that is it for this video. Hope to see you in the next one. Peace.